Hi everyone and welcome back. Jesus in the Gospel of John chapter 17 was praying to his Father. And he makes this statement. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. So this was Jesus' prayer to his Father. He was not saying, Lord, take them out of the world, but he was saying, protect them, preserve them in the world. Protect them from the evil one. And you see, we know, you and I, we know that we live in this world that's full of uh, evil, unrighteousness, immorality, and many, many ungodly things. Things that the way people live, their actions, uh, their attitudes, the things that we see maybe on the screen or we read in the book, where we work, wherever we go, we're surrounded by the world. And God is not wanting to take us out. No, he's wanting us to stay in it so we can be a testimony, a light shining in the darkness. We can be the salt that speaks of the purity of God, that we change the flavor, the aroma of our society in which we live. So there's a promise here. He says, Lord will protect us. But more than that, he then says, sanctify them with your word. Your word is truth. And you see this word sanctification, it has two aspects to it. The first speaks of a washing, of a purging. So when I'm reading the word of God, that's what it does. It cleanses my mind. It cleanses my spirit. It affects me. It gets me back on track. When I read the word of God, I'm able to see my attitudes. I'm able to see what I'm doing, where I'm going, where I am. As James says, the, the word is like a mirror. And when I read it, it reflects my state and brings me to a place of repentance and change and growth. The second aspect of being sanctified by the word is it draws a line. It separates. That's what the word means. It separates you and I from the things of the world. So the enemy of this sanctification is compromise when i know what god wants me to do but i have an excuse i have a reasoning a rationale that compromise is what will cause me to drift away from where i should be to a place where the enemy wants me to be so we need to be on god i want to tell you god is here to keep you to help you and to sanctify you Let's stick to his word and let's make the right choices. God bless.